Hey guys! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a 3D animation from video using AI tools. We will be transferring our animation to this beautiful character, links to which are in the description. I've chosen this video. So this is uh, the movements we're gonna be retargeting to our character. And we are going to do this uh, with the help of this service. So let's go. First, you need to create a free account. I already have one, so I will just sign in. Go to portal. Our section of interest is Animate 3D. Uh, here you see the credits that you need to spend when your animations are processed. For a free account, you get 60 credits per month. I guess it's quite enough for you to try out how it works. Also, you can see amount of available reruns, library of your past animations and models that you've uploaded. If you have uh, not a control rig, but just a bones rig, you can upload your character here and download already with your animation and it will be super easy, fast and convenient. But since I'm going to transfer my animation to controls, not to bones, I'm going to do it another way. So hit create. Here you can see the requirements for videos for best results. I will just drag and drop my video. Analyzing. Okay. Additional settings. I need to turn on hand tracking. This will require me to spend extra credits. Do I need anything else? A pause. Okay. So you can see it will take out 12 credits. Let's start. Uh, this process may take some time. I will speed it up later. Let's see what we got. It's far from perfect, but it's fine. If you want to edit this, you can use this option. I will download just as it is. Fix, download. Now let's get back to Maya. I've already unpacked our downloaded file, so let's import it and see. Right. Okay. So what we need to do now, we need to transfer this animation to our controls. I here have an advanced skeleton rig. It means that it has a lot of inbuilt tools, including mockup matcher, that can make this process super, super easy. So at first I will show how to transfer it to controls uh, with advanced skeleton rig. And then I will go through the long process that you can use if you have any other kind of rig. If you have an advanced skeleton rig, you should have this panel as well. Pickers, and we need this one. Anim, mockup matcher. To transfer our animation, we need to match our skeletons from the rig that we have and the one that we just imported. You can do it manually by writing down corresponding bones, but uh, advanced skeleton already has a template for deep motion. I will just choose it. Okay, let's see if it has namespace. No. We can try this. Okay, set rig to OFK. Connect. And already I can see that we have a problem with our hands. It happened because our T poses didn't match. Uh, the file that I've downloaded has T pose instead of A pose. We need to correct this. Disconnect. Oh no. Mm. 
what I saw. I'll have to do it one by one. Let's try again. Much better. So to finish this process, we need to bake. This will bake uh, animation to controls. Let me make a play blast to see how it looks like in real time. Here's the play blast. Okay, it's not very good. It requires some corrections. What we could do to make the results better. First, so we can use a video with simpler movements. Second, uh, we can use inbuilt deep motion tool to fix animation before downloading. Third, if you have some experience in Maya, you can bake feed to AK controls and just smooth all curves with a smoothing script to remove jitter. If you are more profound in animation, you can just leave main poses and delete all other keys, correct them and continue to polish the animation. That is what I usually do and this way is quicker than making an animation from scratch. So we can still benefit from using these uh, services. If you are not very profound in animation and still want to use AI animation, then you still have to use simpler movements. So. I guess taking into account current AI progression, we can expect Macabre from video will become better in the nearest future. Now, having said that, I'm going to show you how to transfer animation from our downloaded model to our rig uh, without using these additional advanced skeleton features. The process uh, in its core is the same. We have to match skeletons of both rigs but uh, now we will be doing this without advanced skeleton. Instead, we will be using human IK as a mediator. It's in build feature of Maya. First, I need to delete animation. Let me do this. Okay, let's show our circuit. Let's define our imported model. Create character definition. You can save this definition for future and when you will be importing these animations again you can just use your saved definition load it in your scene and you don't have to make this again need to find joints The joints were hidden by a script, so I had to use script to reveal them. So now let's define this model. Let's say new definition. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Oop. Oop.
the last step we need to create a custom rig. We need to match these controls like we did with the bones. Yes, that's it. Now let's try how this works. I did something wrong here. This. Looks correct. It's fine. Now you can see that we have our animation on our controls. Also, I guess we can try to bake our animation to our key directly. It will be easier to work with IK labs. So that's it. Now you know how to transfer an animation from a bone rig to another control rig so you can continue working on that animation and polishing it and so on. I hope this video was helpful to you. See you. Cheers. Have a good day. Bye.